Hey there, today we're going to check out one of my recent base builds. Uh, so lots of Luthiers out there will have their kind of specific model range and they will be just focused on that and they won't go outside of that, which is completely understandable and makes sense. Uh, but I like to offer an additional service also, so I'll have that model range of my own, but I will also do custom one-offs. Uh, so these can be instruments designed by the customer themselves, or they can be instruments which are based on an existing base out there made by someone else, for example, uh, like this one here. Uh, this is based on a 1976 Carl Thompson base. Uh, so we're going to have a closer look at this now, and I'm going to tell you all about it. So this base is actually for a good customer of mine, who's actually got four mountain bases already, and this is going to be his fifth. Uh, he's also got a Carl Thompson base in his collection, uh, but what he really wanted was the 1976 body shape, uh, which is what this is. Uh, so this shape is a bit different to his later shapes, because uh, it's a bit more offset down here, and it's got a different cutaway as well, the later shapes kind of have a horn that go out down here, which has got a smaller bottom horn here. Uh, the 76 did vary, some of them had a, a knob up here rather than a scroll, uh, but we've gone for the scroll shape. Uh, for example, Les Claypool is famous for playing a 1976 bass, and this is, so he's got the same body shape as this, but up here it's got the knob rather than the scroll. Uh, so I feel very lucky to have been able to have the opportunity to build this bass, because uh, I've always been a huge Carl Thompson fan and a Primus fan. Um, I just really like the way that Carl Thompson does things. He's never kind of followed the herd and he's done things his own way and it makes some very unique, awesome looking bases. Um, so we're going to go through over some of the features on this base and I'm going to show you in a bit closer detail now and talk through the woods and you get to hear how it sounds as well. So we've got some very special wood on the top of this base. Uh, so this wood that looks a bit like maple in the figure, uh, flame maple, is actually flamed on jaw and mahogany and that's just super rare stuff. If this is the only piece I've ever had, and um, you can't really buy it, uh, so it's very special and unusual. And we've also made the control cavity out of that as well, control cavity lid. Uh, we've made the kind of Carl Thompson style, so it's front routed, and then this is the cavity lid, uh, which is also made of the flame mahogany, and it's just beautiful stuff. Uh, so we've only got, really got two main woods on this, and then a fretboard wood as well. And the two woods are mahogany, obviously, and then this wood is Zabrano. Uh, so these are hum cancelling jazz pickups, which are wound by Aaron Armstrong, and I've made the cases for them. And we've got the Zabrano running up either side here as well, and then running up the neck. And we've got the brass position markers in the style of their 1976 bass also. We've got more of the flame mahogany on top of the headstock, and I've also done my logo in the kind of Carl Thompson style on this piece of Zabrano and burnt my logo in there. So these are hip shot tuners and we've got a D tuner on it also to, for drop D. And then we've got more Zabrano for the dust rod cover as well. Uh, so the uh, bridge on this one, as you've probably seen already, is a Kayla Tremolo. Uh, so this is a really cool feature and great fun. Us bass players don't normally get a Tremolo, so it's good fun to play with. And we've got the custom wooden knobs as well. Uh, these are Honjo and Mahogany and Zabrano again, and this is just like a jazz bass, so we've got volume, volume, and then this is a tone, but it's actually a varitone, uh, so it's got lots of a series of different capacitors in there, so you've got all the way this way is full bypass, so it bypasses all capacitors, and then it goes all the way down to one UF on that side, and it's got the notches in between uh, for, to select a different value capacitor. And then the switches here, we've got uh, one for each pickup, and the series at the bottom, and then in the middle is single coil, uh, and then parallel. Uh, so they're all really usable, uh, especially I really like the single coil jazz sound. Uh, so it sounds like a really nice jazz bass in the middle position. And then we've got some nice carving around the edge, and a black accent under there as well. Have a look at the back now. So on the back we've got more Honjo and Margany here and we've got the Zabrano still running through and this is a set neck base and you can see we've got more Zabrano there and a black accent as well and lots of nice carving. For the neck we've actually got uh, more mahogany uh, but this is Cuban mahogany instead uh, so I'm a big fan of Cuban mahogany as you've probably seen from my other videos it makes a really strong and stable neck uh, but just to be sure uh, we're doubly sure we've actually got the titanium reinforcement in here as well and the neck is built in the style of Carl Thompson. Uh, so we've got the kind of binding pieces, 
which are not really binding, but kind of laminates, outer laminates on the net. So it's a three piece net really, but they're just on the very edge. And these actually are, go into the top as well, into the front as well. Uh, so the fretboard kind of sits in between those. And then we've got the black accents running through under the headstock. More Zobrano on the back here. And you've got black accents under the flame mahogany on the front. And also under the Zobrano on the back. And there's the hip shot tuners I mentioned earlier. Yeah, with the D tuner. So despite being a completely passive bass, uh, there's actually a huge range of sounds available uh, from the bass. Uh, so I'm going to go through some of them with the Varitone at the moment. Uh, so this is with the Varitone turned all the way counterclockwise, uh, so with its at its most treble cutting position, uh, which is the 1UF cap. So this is kind of an, an like an old school P-bass type sound. bypass the tone completely and they go straight to the jack uh, so it's a much brighter sound uh, so now we're going to hear some of the other sounds you can get with the bass uh, by using some of the switching options. please do leave me a like and if you'd like to see more content like this please subscribe thanks again for watching and i'll see you on the next one